Hello everybody at home, it's Mr Daniels there from Wood Age Primary School. Uh, we're going to do a fundamental movement skills lesson uh, this afternoon. So luckily enough, in front of me, I've got the wonderful Year 1 from Wood Age. So can everyone in Year 1 give a big shout? Yeah! And they're going to be helping me with today's lesson. So, what we're going to do for today's warm up, we're going to play the Mr Men game. So the Mr. Men game consists of lots and lots of different Mr. Men, and the different Mr. Men have different movements. So the first one we're going to do is Mr. Rush. So can anybody in year one tell me what Mr. Rush does? Yes, Louisa. Rushes around a lot. He rushes around a lot. So for you guys at home, we're going to be rushing in your living room, making sure you don't run into the, the couch or into the TV, running around without hitting any objects. The children here, you're going to be running around making sure you don't bump into each other. So make sure that your knees are bent, your heels are up off the floor, so we're running around to your toes, and we're walking forward. Alright? And three, two, one, we're going to rush around, off we go. Miss 
Mr. or Mrs. Strong. So everybody at home, get in front of your TV, you guys here, everybody show me your muscles. I'm seeing some huge muscles here at school. Hope you guys at home are flexing those muscles. And now we're going to be Mr. Backwards. So, Mr. Backwards, are we going to be running forwards? No, no. No, how are we going to be moving? Backwards. Backwards. So, everybody at home, again, make sure you don't bump into the TV. When you're moving backwards, you don't look that way, you look over each shoulder. Okay? So, everybody moving backwards, checking over your shoulder. We're not crashing into anybody or anything. Checking shoulders. Making sure we don't have too much weight on our heels because if we're moving backwards and the weight is on our heels, we will fall over. Mr. Freeze! So we're going to do that one again. I want everybody moving a little bit quicker, you guys at home, moving a bit quicker, running backwards. Make sure the weight is on your toes. Keep a nice straight back. Try not to lean backwards because you don't want to fall over. And try and jog a little bit quicker without crashing into anybody. You guys at home, try not to crash into anything in your front room. Okay, off we go. Next one we're going to be, it seems very, very uh, relevant at the moment, we're going to be Mr. Joe Wicks. Now for you guys at home, I'm sure you're doing your uh, fitness videos in the morning, so we're going to do Mr. Joe Wicks. Mr. Joe Wicks, he's just going to do some star jumps. Everybody up we go, you guys at home, let's go. So you guys at home, you guys in the hall, running around for 10 seconds as fast as you can without crashing into anybody. Get it? Engines are 
You should all be driving at home. Let's see who's paying attention. Now, it took quite a few children in the hall to stop on that one. Hopefully you guys are on stop a little bit quicker.
fold up, you can use pillows, you can use cushions. Now whilst you're getting them, you can let the video play on and listen to the instructions or you can pause, set it up and then have it press and play on the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to travel from one end to the other using a different jumping technique. Once we get to the end, we're just going to walk around and come back to the start. So the first one we are going to do is we're going to step outside of the area and we're going to imagine that the river is in front of us. And using two feet, we're going to jump and land on two feet in the next two. We're then going to land on our toes, transfer the weight onto our heels. As we come back onto our heels, we then transfer the weight back onto our toes and we push up. Land, push. All the way to the end, step out. You can rather walk or jump back. Once you get back to the start, two feet. Two feet, two feet, two feet, two feet, jump out and walk back. That is the first level. Now, if it's too easy, you can make your pillows or your cushions or your boots, you can make them further apart. So, if I want to make it slightly harder, I am going to make that space, and I'm sure some of you are, you can make that a little bit wider. Alright, now because my hips are quite big, it doesn't give me a lot of room between them, so it's quite easy for me. But, like I said, you guys can spread them out to the distance that you can jump in. So, we're going to do this six times. So we're going to go here, jump, that's one, run back, two, I'm going to do six. You guys in here, you're just going to keep doing it until I say stop. You're not actually counting, you're just going to get as many goals as you can. When I say stop, you all stop, line up exactly how you are, and we'll move on to the next technique. Alright, so you guys at home, get yourself ready. You guys in the get yourself ready. Two feet together, and we're going to go.
Now, that was really good. Hopefully you guys at home did the same. When you are hopping on one leg, the opposite leg that's in the air should never touch the floor. You are just going from one lily pad to the other. You're not trying to jump over a lily pad to the next one. That was just to demonstrate how we would use the opposite leg to generate power. The next one is probably slightly easier. It can be a one leg drop. If it's right leg, you jump from right to left. Left to right, right to left, left to right. Okay, now some of you, especially down at home, are probably just going to run through it. But the purpose is not to run, the purpose is to hop. So, just slow it down, get a nice big jump, aim for height, hop onto the other leg, try not to place it on the foot on the floor, hop onto the other leg, and try and do that without the other foot touching the floor. You guys here get it? The next two, you're going to jump in on two, 
Two feet together. Then you're going to jump out of the suit. Come for one, two, and then one. The younger children that are doing this really take your time with the hopscotch. It's quite a difficult skill. Older children, you might want to try them yourself. If you hop the first one on your right leg, when you jump together with two feet, the next hop that you do, try it with your left leg. And two, and then right, and you alternate your legs, okay, on the hop. So it's one, two, one, two. And for those children more advanced, you then change your legs. If you want to make this easier, bring your pillows or whatever you want to use the lily pads closer together to make it harder, stretch them further away. So we're going to do six again. Three, two, one, come on. Two, one, two, one. There's one. One, two, one, two, one. There's two. One, two. One, two, one, three, halfway, keep going. One, two, one, two, one, four. One, two, one, two, one, five, last one, keep going, guys. One, two, one, two, one. Excellent, give yourself a round of applause. If you manage to do that one, excellent. It'd be great to see some video of you guys at home giving these levels a try. We've got two more to do. The next one you're going to be jumping backwards. So if you're jumping backwards, you need to make sure you're looking over the both of your shoulders. Bend your knees and get nice and low. So bend my knees. I'm checking my left shoulder. I jump. I land on my toes. I then transfer the weight to my heels. Now when I turn further away to my heels, if I lean back, it will cause me to be off balance and potentially fall over. So when you land on your toes and you transfer the weight onto your heels, sit into it and get your body weight slightly forward. So the weight in my shoulders and my weight going over my toes to stop me rocking backwards. Okay? So I'm going to demonstrate. Back. Back. Back, back, all right? Quite a difficult one, so take your time with it. You don't have to stay with me. All right, alternatively, and I'm going too slow, speed it up, just make sure you're not falling over. It's about transferring the weight from your toes to your heels. As you then go on to your heels, use that rocking motion to help propel you and jump backwards again. We're gonna do it six times. Three, two, one, go. That's one. You notice I'm going slow in here, but not more. That's two. Don't want to be falling on you, you should do that. Take my time, get it nice and low. Nice and low. That's three. Give yourselves a clap. Well done. Um, this time, I want you, once you've had a drink, once you're ready to go, you're going to change your lily pads, not going to be straight line anymore. So, my first one is where it was. I'm going to move this lily pad to the right. I'm going to move this lily pad to the left. This lily pad to the right, and this lily pad to the left. Okay? So now we're going to jump in right, left, right, left. So this is more lateral movement. So not only lateral movement, diagonal to the side, but you're still moving forwards. So you're going to be moving in a diagonal motion. Again, depending on your level, 
you can make these lily pads close together. Alright, so you could potentially be really close like that. Or if you're more skilled, you can make them further apart, depending on your skill level. So I'm going to go for that sort of distance. And again, we're going to do six jumps. So we're going to do lateral movements across, ground, and back to the side. Okay, so you guys have come set up a bit of a zigzag for your jumping with your stepping stones or your lily pads and get ready to go. So we're going to go on here. Six, three, two, one, jump, and cross, cross, right to the left. That's one. As you know, this, I'm using my arms in this one because I've got quite a further jump than the rest of them. So I've got to use my arms to get across. There's two. Keep going while well, doing that one. There's three halfway through. You notice that I'm keeping my knees and my feet close together. I'm not splitting the legs. I'm keeping them nice and tight together. Keep them nice and tight. There's four. Set score. I'm going to get a child in to do it for me. 
We're in a moment and we're going to have Zach starting the game. He's going to be doing it. I'm going to be timing Zach and we're going to see what sort of time that he can get. Alright, now Zach's in year six. He's very, very quick, he's very nimble, so it's quite a difficult score to beat. So try your best to beat that score. Obviously, if you're really catch closer together and you travel a short distance, then you're more likely to win. So just make sure that you try and test yourself. Alright, so Zach's going to get in position over there. Give the camera a wave. <laughs> you're going to be famous. <laughs> Let me get the timer ready. You guys at home, go at the same time so you can time it. Three, two, one, go. That's it, good. Run back, sprint back, good job. Go as quick as you can. Great job, you can use those arms, keep your feet together. Good job. Floor is loud as that, don't go in there. That's it, good use of the arm, well done. Well done. Fantastic job. That's it. Six more to go, you're doing well. Use those arms, use those arms. Good, well done. Keep going. You can step out of that feet again, but you can stay there. Good. Four left, keep going, come on. Doing a great job so far. I can hear you breathing, getting heavier. It's difficult this one. Keep going. Keep going. Great jumping, Zach. Excellent work. Doing a fantastic job. Two more, well done. Good explosion with those jumps, really good. That's one. Leg it back, and stop there. Well done. Let's give Zach a big round of applause. That was superb, I can hear him breathing heavily there. It is difficult. Now when I was first over this, I completed this one. And yeah, I was tired. Hence why I've got myself a help today to show you how it's done. And also it's better to be competing against other children. Zach did it in one minute, 18 seconds, which is a very, very quick time. Alright, so well done. What we're gonna do now, if you've set it up like that, that's fine. If you found that too easy, so if you did it in a minute, then clearly your course is too too easy. If your course is too hard, then I want you to make it easier. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna ask Zach to put the cones back over here, and then I'm gonna ask him to set up his own course. And he's gonna set it up however he wants. I want at least one lateral jump. It can have forward jumps, okay? It can jump to the left to the right in whatever manner we want. Now I want him to use at least one hop. Alright, so he's got to use one hop, one lateral jump. Same with you guys at home, you've got to do at least one hop on one leg for one of your jumps and one lateral jump. But I want you to set up your lily pad however you want. Get it? Got it. Good job. 